hello. Um, I just felt like I should make a video because some things have happened last night that were kind of crazy. But the, the, my main intent behind this video is to give some reassurance to a family, the Taylor family, because, you know, it's been stewing in my mind. Leroy, you know, you're talking about voodoo and, you know, as and you're mentioning his brother, you know, every single one of these, it's, it was like correlations that you, people might not understand because I'm not filling in the gaps. So I wanted to clarify things, you know. Um, uh, voodoo is it's a very sacred practice. It's, it's a, a sequence of defense that is stored in memory and DNA. And so I just wanted to reassure the family that because it could be mistaken, like I maybe like, you know, you guys don't know. So it's like, a, could he, should, could he done something? You know, I was like, no, no. It's, it's been a real long time and I haven't really, you know, I'm still kind of awakening to this too. And yeah, a lot of uh, deaths have taken place around me and it's been weird. I've always wondered, you know, do you have something to do with this? You know, there's people peeling out all over you. But uh, it's, it's beginning to come clear now, especially with the passing of Drew. You know, and I've I've seen people like question m my intent and my application, and just certain people that you know I don't like, or rather that are offending themselves, they fall victim to certain things. But I never really understood the compliment to that. Really great people that I've loved, you know, around me, they've also, you know, passed, and it's it's. It's unique because I think, well, I, I think what's going on here is in the case of Drew, um, he came to me before he passed to kind of like to assure himself that he had done his work, you know, like, and it was kind of a, a rites of passage for him to make his move. Uh, and of course he wouldn't share that with me because he knew I would have tried to talk him out of it like I like I did just a few weeks before you know he he came here and I've seen it before you know he's 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 always kind of rode that edge and when he came this time I was like he was hinting at it and he was looking away and for me you know my practice is always my plants tell me you know there's a different application that takes place when I look specifically in the right eye of somebody. Now, I haven't really, couldn't put a finger on that for you right now, but I told him, you know, don't you dare fucking think of that shit, man. Don't you think about your family here. You know, and, I, and he wouldn't look at me. I told him, tell me you're not gonna do it. He, he wouldn't look, I said, look me in my eyes, motherfucker. And he looked up and we were both welled up in tears. And I was like, don't do it, man. What am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gone, what am I going to do? You know, selfish as a motherfucker. That's, that's me. What I didn't realize is that people have their own work to do, you know? Like, he had work on the other side to do. It reminded me of an old friend of mine, Ons, a beautiful woman, a very close friend of mine. I've met her brother just a couple of times at a bar, but never with them together. But her, her brother was murdered by the police here. And every time his birthday came around, she said that she would never really hang out with anybody. She would just isolate herself. But she said I reminded her of him. And so at the first time we hung out on his birthday, she, it, things got a little weird and crazy. But, you know, I'm not one to believe. You, you got to understand, this is not like... I mean, I'm, I grew up in the same doctrine, doc, indoctrination as you did. So this whole spirit realm and like voodoo, is, it's all kooky to me. But it, I mean, more and more as I'm experiencing this, it's just getting real, you know what I'm saying? And so her brother Fouad, 
he was kind of the first. She's the one who told me, you talk to spirits, Leroy. And I don't believe that shit. Fuck spirits. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Spirits. Whatever. But in all these strange rituals that were taking place back then, there was cases where it, I, it's, you got to understand, I'm really fearful of expressing this because, I mean, I'm everyone already looks at me as though I'm fucking nutty. So, and, and I wouldn't blame him. If I saw a dude like me, I'd be like, oh my God, are you fucking serious, bro? Get the fuck out of here. But there was times back then with Ons where I felt his contact, like him moving my hands. You know, I was like, this is fucking way out of my perception. And last night, some weird shit happened. You know, I was sitting here just scared. You know, that that this family was going to kill their own father, you know? And I just lost AD. I can't, I can't, that would be just too much for me right now. I, that would be way too much for me to handle. But, I had my my head in my hands, and I'm not one to pray, you know? I don't believe in that weirdness, you know, God and shit like that, but in this particular case, I had my head in my hands, and I was praying. I was praying to one person, A. Dizzle. I was like, man, please, please get to this family, man. Do me a solid family. Touch them in their dreams. Visit them. Do something for me, man. Homie's gonna fucking peel out, and I can't allow this to happen. They're firing me. They fired me. You know, thirty days. It's like I was gonna bounce, but I was like, if I got thirty days, then I'm gonna do what I can in the time that I got. And you know, electromagnetic properties are the things that are kind of my my signs. You know my omens and so when I was in the middle of prayer with AD there was a video on and it cut off the internet went down for a second and I was like what the only time I've ever had that feeling was back when I was with like chilling with Oz and I felt Fuad was in the room, and my mind was fucking blown right there, because in my definition, my understanding, that was that was AD, like right here, and I was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> this is fucking crazy, no way, bro, fucking for real, man." <laughs> like, and then and then there's something weird happened. My friend Daniela, who lives in Michigan. Who has a dog named Petal, little poodle, cute little thing, you know, both of them, and uh, she said that her dog has been sick for a while, hasn't eaten, won't get up out of bed, just sits there, and she said she turned on my video, and the dog perked up, looked at the TV, went and ate, peed, then jumped on her couch to start watching me with her. And then she said, hey, look, that's Lee. And the dog, she said this, not me. I have the text. She said the dog looked up at her as though to say, yeah, I know, I'm watching here. And I was like, what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I, I was like, no way. This is, you, that's, but no. Like, if I was to ignore that, that would be ignoring myself. That would be ignoring what I thought was real in that moment. The AD, oh, he's live. And homies were chilling. Like, if there's anything is such a positive sign, an omen, that's an omen. Homies strong. Strong oh, man. I was so happy. Oh my god. I woke up today and some craziness has been going down. But I just had to make sure that this family was clear, you know. I love your family, Keith. I 
fucking love you guys, man. Like, you guys are my family now. And we got homie on the other side doing work. You know what I'm saying? Work, fam. <laughs> and if anyone knows work, it's a dizzle. You know what I'm saying? You've seen his studio, but we got stacks of stacks of masterpieces all over the place. Shit, I still haven't seen all of them. I know that shit. <laughs> but I just wanted to make this to make it straight, man. Like, your family is well protected, fam. And now I feel like I got some protection too, fam. Like, close homies on the other side, carrying all the struggle, doing work. So I'll be seeing y'all Saturday. Can't wait to celebrate, man. Celebrate your loved ones. Mourn them, of course, that's healthy. But ultimately, my mom taught me, if she peels out, cry, do your thing, but party your ass off. Because it's a gift. I was gifted with family. Drew Taylor, David Taylor, Ernest, Keith, Kevin I haven't even met, man. But I'm looking forward, fam. So, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, I can't believe the support I've got from a hundred hits in 24 hours. That's the most traffic any of my material has ever seen. That's electromagnetic properties, by the way. Homies behind. So if you can, I'm just asking you know, like the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm not one to like beg for this shit, but I feel like there's a movement going on here and we should ride this wave. There's more to come. A lot more to come. Anyways, if you can comment, do your thing. Let me know what you think, man. Give a shout out to the Taylor family. And I want to, there's other people I want to thank, you know, like uh, Justin McBurnett. Homie's been here with me the whole time. Steve Lindsley, David Kanoy. Man, give, give my love to your little boy family. There's other things that are coming for that, autism. Uh, do as much, you know, help people, man. Like this is, this is, there's something going on here. People are fighting. There's a revolution and it ain't being televised. That's for sure. Anyways, thank you so much to the whole Kelly family, Aaron, Kimberly, Amrita, uh, I think Diane, uh, Pasha's sister, Ellen, Ted, thank you all. I love you all. Peace and love.